You're listening to Why You Suck in Bed on the Riotcast Network, riotcast.com. I wonder if I eat enough corn, I could shit out a whole tub of corn. How much corn do you think I need to eat for to fill up a toilet bowl with corn? Because it comes out whole. If I shit it out. Have you ever been thought about this? Fill up a toilet bowl with corn out of my ass. And then I want someone to eat my asshole when I'm done and tell me if it tastes like corn. <laughs> Welcome to Why You Suck in Bed. I'm Dr. Stacy, and I'm joined here with TP and Callie Rose. Hey. How we, are you guys? We have a guest today. Um, he's a blast from the past. You have to excuse my, my voice. I'm losing it. But we have a guest. John, my ex-boyfriend, is here in the studio. Did you miss me? Mm, no. <laughs> And he's going to talk about what's been going on in his life, and we're all going to talk about what's going on in our yeah, lives. I don't know about that one. You're not going to talk about it? You can interview me if you'd like. Okay. So, let's see. Callie? We had a good weekend, didn't we? Yes, we did. We had a really good weekend. We missed you, t No, you didn't. No, we did. No, you didn't. How do you know? We so, weren't there. Because you always lie to me. I never lie to you. You always lie to me. Mm-mm, I always tell you the truth. Oh, we're going to be chewing into the microphone. So um, I chewed mm-hmm. last week into the microphone. I'm officially done. Oh, good. I swallowed. Good. Mm-hmm. <laughs> mm. good You're good girl. at that one, aren't you? Mm-hmm. Mm. I'd rather swallow. So what do we do? So listen, we did. We went on the glory hole on Friday, hung out with Rob Sprans, Chris Fortney, and Bruno. And Bruno came down mm-hmm. to hang out with us. And it was a good show. A little bit of banter. Nothing crazy. Well, Rob said that he loves having us on because he doesn't have to prepare. Because <laughs> we just take over. Which we kind of did. We did. And it was fun. And mm-hmm. a lot of stuff was brought up. And I think a lot of stuff that we probably shouldn't have talked about, we did. We talked about TP, although he claims that we don't miss him. But I, I did. We did. We missed you that night. Mm-hmm. So then afterwards, of course, Bruno wants to go out. And of course, it has, it's been on Twitter that we always discuss when we go out again, we're going to go to a strip joint. Mm-hmm. So, of course, we wound up at Rick's Cabaret, in this, wherever it is, on 33rd. And um, we ran into a celebrity. Well, we didn't run into him. We he, met him. He actually invited us there. Okay. And when we got to the door, the bouncers and the doorman was like, oh, are you guests of Ronnie's? So anyone that listens to Howard knows uh, Ronnie the limo driver. And I had met them, Ronnie and his girlfriend, in the past because I had gone to the Christmas party with Benji. So, and Bruno works with Ronnie. So, we went back, and there was Ronnie in the VIP lounge with his girlfriend Stephanie, who's lovely. And we proceeded to sit in the VIP lounge the entire night, have lap dances the entire night. Wait, and was that your first lap dance? No. Oh, oh. My first lap dance was actually at your house. Oh. <laughs> oh, I remember that. Mm-hmm. Oh, when we had a stripper, a stripper right. at a Christmas oh, party. I got a waterfall for her. She <laughs> did. <laughs> did she? Oh, she's she was one dressed that, as Santa Claus. Were they doing ass shots? Yes. Well, John, yes, John did a vagina, vagina shot. Oh, leave yes. it to my ex-husband to bring a stripper to a Christmas party. <laughs> that was so. a good party. It was a great party. I'll give him that. He threw some decent parties. He? I threw it, too. Didn't you just show up? Don't be a dick. If I remember right, you fell asleep for most of it. I did. I fell asleep. I was over it. She went upstairs and went to bed. I was done watching you guys get... Baloney. ...taking shots off assholes and (laughs) vaginas. So we um, got some lap dances and some drinkies, and we hung out all night, and it was a long night. I loved watching you get... 
your lap dance. Which one? The first one. With the blonde Russian? With the blonde Russian. Why? She wasn't even interested. Your face was hysterical. Why? You were just like, oh, because you would do, Bruno was interviewing you. Do we have oh, those? Did he send them in? No. Darn. He's probably still hung over. Um, Bruno interviewed me while I was getting a lap dance, and then he interviewed me while Callie and assistant Skylar were getting a lap dance. So, it, well, that was, it was very funny. Well, it was Skylar's first lap dance ever in her life. Yeah. And, <laughs> She got felt up by the stripper. She got felt up. <laughs> and the woman, the stripper was like, I like your size. I like you your have size. good size. And she's sitting there like doing a tune in Tokyo thing. And, <laughs> like, and Skylar was like, she looked like she was traumatized. She looked she like. She was mortified. She had to see her. She was like, I don't like it when other people touch my breasts. I can't blame her. And you know, apparently guys, <laughs> there are so many rules when it comes to men. Oh, yeah getting a lap dance but no there rules are with women. zero rules with women Bullshit. i had tits in my face this like rubbing their breasts i could touch their breasts they wanted me to touch their asses they were feeling up skylar they were rubbing callie's ass it was mm. a free-for-all but once the guys got got near them it was yeah because you know. i'm on i'm on this thing that says no grabbing when you're at a strip joint Mm-hmm. Meanwhile, like I was sitting there touching her ass. Yeah, we were, we were going great, and they enjoyed it. They, I think she enjoyed it. Well, Although she was more into <laughs> Skylar's boobies and mine because she kept rubbing over mine. I'm like, you don't like my size? Mm. No. She's like, I like her size. My second lap dance. She, I think she was into checks because she. Didn't she, would she like sit me. down and tell you her name and everything? Oh yeah, she sat down. She like, rubbed oh, my leg. Here. She shook my hand. Oh. We were girlfriends. Yeah, like you guys are friends. Well, I had her nipples practically in my mouth, uh-huh. so that was very fun. I would yeah. spit all over your feet. <laughs> what did they taste like? Body lotion. Yummy. <laughs> so that was fun. I'm glad I wasn't invited. Ugh. And then we had the. Um, Remember the the handicap boy, oh, man. Oh. You 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 handled the handicap? <laughs> no, I didn't handle. Oh. Him. Was but he was, dancing? We were no, in the VIP was, lounge, he so was, I was you know I was in awe of watching these men. And as the night progressed, it it got crowded. But this guy and all this, this guy was in, you know like right in front of us, and he was getting lapped a lot of Asians and and black women. He clearly liked the ethnics. Take it was, easy. But then all so then all of a sudden he stood up. <laughs> the the, ethnics. All of a sudden he stood up, and he had like a. A little arm and leg thing going on. Like a oh, you're penguin? say a little, a little boner. No. no, he had, no, he had, <laughs> he had like palsy. Oh, yeah, no. He yeah. was with his bud, and his bud was a good-looking guy, but he was so creepy. Like he, every, like his handicapped friend just got. I would say he got about ten lap dances uh-huh. just when, while we were watching. Uh huh. And his creepy friend sat next to him, just staring with his mouth open yeah he was like creepy it was like, so weird so my he was vicariously living through <laughs> the handicap guy but why not get your own lap and he was turning girls away they kept coming up to him unless yeah. they maybe they were maybe they were just doing it for him maybe, maybe it was the, free he was getting he's dances. frugal maybe the cp guy just needed do you think he was looking for love in all the wrong places <laughs> the cp Ooh. guy yeah no. i don't know i don't know like or is he just that lonely and this is the only way a woman will touch him it's like not really only did he have cp sad. but what? he had That's the most so sad <laughs> Most women are like you. They're running the hell away from them. So. No, I mean, I had a friend that had CP that used to come in when I worked at nighttime. That sounded gross. <laughs> <You> just <laughs> that sounded like I was like a whore. Oh, um, okay. No, like I had this guy that used to come visit me when I was um, when I was a waitress, and he'd always come in. The and stalker? No, that was another one. But same place. And he used to come in all the time. And I felt, and I would talk to him. I'm not going to fucking suck his dick, but. Well, this, this CP guy, not only did he have CP, he was but he had the weirdest too. hairline I've ever he seen did. in my life. Terrible hairline. And he was a ginger. See, that's and why I don't believe in God. He had terrible facial hair. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> why, uh, because Where does religion come in? They give this? him CP. He's already ugly, and then they give him CP they on top give of that. Him they, 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 you know, all of those, all of those deities gods. up there. <laughs> exactly. Zeus, Apollo, yes, all those. <laughs> Poseidon, all of them. Jesus Christ himself. This poor guy has no fucking chance. He has to pay for sex. And he was poorly dressed. P- uh, terribly <laughs> dressed. <laughs> awful. Awful, awful, awful. He can't handle buttons. He has to <laughs> use Velcro. Oh. oh, was he wearing those Velcro big shoes? I didn't see. He kind of had that polio thing going on, too. Maybe one leg was shorter than the other. Did he have I a fanny know. pack as well? I don't know. No, he didn't. He had a, just a terrible outfit on. I'm sure he had polio. <laughs> 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 that wasn't <laughs> eradicated like decades hey, ago. Hey. <laughs> Measles are coming back. Yeah. They're making a rise. Okay. Um, okay. No, I did feel bad for him, though. 
It was sad. It was sad to watch him. While you were cringing every time he moved. I know. Well, You're some cringing of, right now talking about it. I know, because I feel bad for him. <sighs> But and was, there was the and there were like the creepy guys who came in and they had like their regular girl, and I was watching them, and I was thinking, do they think that these girls really like them? Yes, like they really were acting like the girls were into them. It's a relationship. Now the per- Ronnie, the limo driver, he does know the girls, and they do like, and they, he does have a real relationship with them. Like he knows. He knows them. Well, his stripper was an Amazon. Right. But she, you could tell, was actually friendly with them. Well, but, yeah. Well, when one's making out with... But the other girls, it was... You know what? If you're throwing me 20s, I'll be your best friend, Well, too. that's my next question is... And I would be curious. No one could ever answer this honestly anyway. But you know how they have... We got a tour for Rick at Rick's. We went. Tour. Up, we got a tour. We went upstairs, <laughs> and I'm curious what goes on in the private rooms. Oh it, my god, I'm in curious. In all seriousness, don't look at me. No, because I want to know: does prostitution actually happen, or no, or is it not, just like not, a more in depth, or does it depend dance? on the club? Yeah, I mean, they got to have more hidden places for that to go on. They're not so yes, do it. everyone gets tea bags. <laughs> Right, because I mean, obviously, <laughs> they're not going to lose their license. If you know, you can have an right. undercover cop. There's no, da, da, da. but really, what happens in them? Like, does the girl take off her bottoms? Probably, and rubs her vagina all over their pants. I mean, they do that up in Canada. Like, but that's isn't a it no holds barred in Canada? Like, what oh, could yeah. they do? Let's <laughs> see. Like, they could oh, yeah. probably dry hump their faces. Um, like, you know what I mean? Could you do that? That's yeah, not sex. For, for Would enough, you want that? For enough. Money. Would men want that? Yeah. But would they would now? The question is, can they jerk off while the stripper is dry humping their For face? Enough money, you could probably do anything in that place. Not in the place, but is though. that prostitution? What you can't blow a nut. You can blow a nut, but you can't have sex. No, that's... no, no. I'm not saying that. So could the I mean... men jerk off? Because it's not like I the woman is jerking him off. Probably, what? but I think it's not encouraged. For enough money, yeah. I bet you. Because then we're dealing we're dealing with body fluids, and then probably, it becomes a health hazard. Eh, you hose oh. the place down. <laughs> <laughs> so, Jeff, are you? Do you like strip joints? No. Why don't you like strip joints? Because it, it's it's like a cock tease. I just want to fuck. You just want to fuck. Now, if you had the opportunity, Amen. <laughs> to go into one of these private rooms, mm-hmm. what would you like to be done to you within this private room? I wouldn't, because I just want to fuck. So you wouldn't allow some chica to sit on your face and rub her clitoris all over your nose no. while you jerk yourself off? No. Okay. As what Bruno d- asked the man who had sex with the black stripper and his uncle, wouldn't it be easier just to jerk off? Yes. And my answer would be yes. Okay. Yeah. I would just go home and jerk off. Why the really? fuck would I waste my time with this okay, cock but, tease would, shit? But wouldn't okay. you like the cock tease so later when you no. go home to jerk off no. you have a visual? It's the same fucking thing. You could think about her. And no, you could- no, no. It feels the same in the end. Really? John, I have a feeling that your answer is going to be completely different. <laughs> well, <laughs> if, I, if I want them snail trailing all over my face, probably not. No. I mean, there are limits. Wait, so if when you, we were dating, you came home. Came home what? With a lot of snail trail Bullshit. On, mm-hmm. on my, maybe you on my, love pant- on my pantaloons. Okay. So explain. I can't help if they want to sit on me. Yeah. So say some woman with big boobies takes you into one of these private rooms. How does she throw in the big boobies? Because he likes the big boobies. (laughs) That's that's why we're not together. I know. So now you are being brought into a private room because they think you're a high roller. (laughs) Well, (laughs) they certainly don't know who I am then. Certainly don't know. So you go into this private room and what do you want done to you? What are you expecting? What are you hoping for? What are you dreaming about? Uh, I'm probably with Jeff on this one. Really? You'd rather I mean, just go home and bust a nut yourself? Uh, if, if they're going to dance on me and grind up on me for free, I mean, I'm not going to turn it down. Right, but you wouldn't pay someone to do that. Why am I going to pay to jerk off? I mean, I, I'd throw money for lap dances. I'd do that, right. you know, whatever. But Now, in your past experiences, have you gotten hard when a woman is, when a stripper who I guess is a woman, but some <laughs> giving they're you, not even they're women not now. even women. Now they are, but I mean, if you were getting wow. a lap dance, do you get hard? Um, depends. Have you? Yeah. And do you get a little embarrassed, or do you just no. go with it? Fuck that. That's their job. Do okay. you wear sweatpants That's... so you can get off? No, that, I don't wear sweatpants. That's embarrassing if they were gray. Be I didn't look at it. That that's a good question. I wonder if anyone was wearing sweatpants. Was no, the, not. Was the palsy guy wearing I don't know if Rick's wasn't. Rick's is more of a high end place. Mm. 
I went. Yeah. I went on my first date with my ex husband at um, Scores, which was a strip joint. We had lobster. Scores used to be owned by, by the Mormon. owner of Rex. Uh huh. That was our first date, and then I went then to. And he Rex. was wearing sweatpants. No. So we were all decked. Okay. I don't know where I was going with that. Exactly. It was just my first date. No, because then I hung out with another guy, and I got fingered by one of the strippers. Nice. Yes. And I've. I've Did she pull back a stub? No, a stub. <laughs> What does that mean? What does that mean? You're talking. What is a stub? A fucking horse. Like, like not the full finger. No. Ew. <laughs> oh. <laughs> that would be fucked up. No. She put her finger inside me while somebody was sucking on my toes. So we did that, and then one time my ex and I were in Vegas, and I also got fingered by a stripper, and then he got jerked, and she was touching his cock through his pants. Well, I just read here. I looked this up, and it said the only thing in a champagne room is champagne and. You have to pay a lot of money, and there's still the same rules apply, no touching. So that's, so what's the point? That's malarkey. But if you're getting fingered and your ex is getting jerked off. He didn't get jerked off through his pants. He was being rubbed. Okay. Uh, that was in Vegas, though. I don't know what Nevada rules are. I mean, they do have the bunny ranch there. Mm-hmm. I, I'll never forget it because I was wearing a dress, and I remember she went right into my underwear. And this. How did she know you wanted that? She doesn't care. I would have been pissed. Because Callie was dripping all over the place. I was like, yeah, I, I wanted it. I was having my toes sucked at the same p- time. I'm a whore. There was a p- <laughs> I would have been pissed. If if one of those strippers shoved a finger in me, I would have been annoyed. Oh. Would you would you have shut the trap on them? Yeah. I would have been like, what the fuck are you doing? Because to be honest with you, I had... Stop it. I had two <laughs> lap dances. Fuck you. <laughs> and... They what? What are you laughing? You're a douche. Okay, you I, suck. I, all the things you would have said. I would have said all of them. You could, probably, I, you could probably tell the whole story with all those clips. Oh, you know what? John hasn't had the pleasure of hearing the Angry Bird. Wait, just wait. We'll go play that uh, for later. I'd rather not. Um, I can hear the Angry Bird in person if I want. So, I was getting these lap dances, and I have to say, I love vagina. They didn't turn me on. Not what? Like, I thought, well, maybe. Oh, yeah. And at one point, what did you say? When I, you t- I leaned in me? and I go, this can conf- this totally <laughs> solidifies the fact that I'm into dick. Yeah. And, you know, men are all just like annoyed. Uh, but honestly, that's like a dude going into a male strip club and getting lap dances from dudes. And everyone be like, what do you mean? You, your dick didn't move at all. You didn't get hard at all. Like, no, no. Yeah, I didn't get were. I didn't get turned on at all. I appreciate that they were beautiful. And can we discuss the fact that none of them had fake boobs? I like, well... That was, I mean, I'm sure some did, but they weren't, like, obnoxiously big and gross. They all had, like... No, I feel like my black stripper been, had fake boobs. But they weren't. But they were small. Mm-hmm. Small fake boobs. But they were nice. They were perky. So, okay. Okay. Let's move on. Let's move past the... Um, the strippers? Yeah. I think. I mean, unless there's something else you want to... Sh- I was sitting there thinking... I said to Callie, I go, why the fuck don't we do this for a living? I know. I like, wish I could be a waitress there. I the could, waitresses weren't that pretty. They so to, what are you I, saying? You're not that pretty? No, I'm saying like I could go in as a 36-year-old and they were probably like in their early 20s. Not attractive women. Were they not, getting good tips? I mean, from us. I mean, Skylar dropped a couple of 20s. I would have liked to just be a bartender or something there. But I'm saying like they were in like denim shorts and running sneakers and with socks. Did you see that? One yeah. Are you all right? What's going on? I'm trying to put my shoe back on. But I'm saying, like, I could absolutely, hands down, work that room and walk out of there and make my salary so, in one night. Do it. I, I got to see what the age requirements are. <laughs> you think there are age requirements? What did you say to, about that one stripper? She should retire now. <laughs> <laughs> but she was... But she was... Her, she was... <laughs> You can't discriminate. Is that things. Angry Bird? Yes. She finds it amusing. <laughs> <laughs> you can't discriminate based on age. You totally, you were like, well, she looked a little. I said she needs to turn it in. She, she looked does. a little old, but she's still working. She's there. probably they can, 25. If they can discriminate at a Hooters. They can discriminate at a strip club. They really can't discriminate naked. at Hooters. Do they yes, hire, they do. do they hire flat chested women at Hooters? Um... I've never seen a pretty person. I, I think it depends. That works on, who knows. I'm just going to piss. Depends on the off. manager. Because mm. like uh, Claire applied uh, once or twice. She did. Yeah, I mean before 
before we were together. Oh, okay. She seemed to know the whole Did she process. work there? No. Why? She's got huge tanks. Tanks? <laughs> <laughs> what? Tanks? What do they call them? Tickety tanks. <laughs> Milk tanks. <laughs> jugs? Jugs. That's what I was thinking of. Tanks, jugs, whatever. But there's Milk things like- Milk <laughs> shooting <laughs> tanks. <laughs> They're huge. Why didn't she work there? (laughs) Okay, so I'm glad you brought her up. Oh, boy. Because last time John was here, he was with his wife, Claire. And since then, we have announced that Claire and John (laughs) have broken up. And I thought you were divorcing. Separated. You're separated. So, why don't you tell us, what, what happened? Where did it all go south? Uh, well... Did she leave you? Because we heard that she left you. No, that's not what happened. Okay. I so, mean, right now, the kids are with her. Where are you? Why don't you tell our listeners where you are? In, in, in a much better place. <laughs> <laughs> in an apartment. Mm-hmm. And who are you sharing that apartment with? Nobody. Mm, that's not what I heard. What bullshit? Who am I? Who am I sharing the apartment with? What do I? My. Let, oh, look at him! He's getting all defensive. Well, I'd love to hear this story <laughs> because I would too. Who's it's probably a life with? that I'm not living. Okay, I just heard that you're sharing an apartment with a female. That right. is not true. Oh, you're about to get his ass kicked after this. Seriously, I'm gonna. She's gonna blow up my apartment. Thank you. <laughs> I appreciate that. There's gonna be a bomb waiting All on right. my. All right. Has she gone a little psycho? She's gonna strap dynamite to the kids and send them over <laughs> my house. <laughs> That's fucked up. <laughs> Are you guys on good terms? Yeah. We're well. Recently, we 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 started talking again, but there was a period where I wouldn't talk to her. What happened? I mean, it was it was a, a building thing, but ultimately it was a lot of jealousy on her part. And uh, I'm not going to lie, the show was part of it. Oh, and, was it really? Yeah, it was. Why? I, mean, I don't think she didn't. She has problems handling the fact that I work with and I'm around a lot of women a lot of the time. Um, In work and out of work. Gotcha. And it didn't seem to matter how long we were together or how many times I said that, you know, if I was going to hook up with these people, it would have happened years ago. I mean, I've known, you know, a lot of, you know, the people that I'm with, that I hang out with for a long time. Or if you would have hooked up with these people. Or if I did hook up with them in the past. (laughs) A long time ago. (laughs) That it's over and And now it might, yes, and you've had your fail. (laughs) <laughs> no, you had your film. Oh, I don't <laughs> you know about that. Oh. It's run of the mill penis. It's run of the mill. So okay. No, that hurts my feelings. So who called it quits? I did. How'd you? What did you say? Um, I'm moving out. You want you want to hear? I'm sh- moving. How out. shitty it is. I did it. Kind on of, Facebook? Kind of, no, I did it kind of on her birthday. You change your relationship status? Oh no, on her birthday? Because that's when. That's when it kind of hit the fan, and I was like, you really want to do this now? You can't control fate. (laughs) That's when it happened. So, uh, you know. Okay, so now separation means that you can date. Technically, yeah. So how's that going? Uh, (laughs) Right now it's not going anywhere. Prosecution is asking leading questions. (laughs) I mean, I haven't, I haven't had time to even be, you know, hang out with you guys. I haven't had time to do anything. Well, now that's that brings up another topic. Callie and I saw a significant decrease in your level of um, involvement in our show. You were a regular, and uh, <laughs> irregular, a regular, and I, it, I, then I, all of a sudden Claire started coming around, and I said, "There's something weird going on with them." Were you bringing her to prove that you weren't banging us? I was because, bring- I mean, you guys have been married for quite some... You have two kids. Right. I was and, bringing and- her in the hopes that, you know, if she met the people that I was ha- spending time with, that she... She would- knew me. Let's just get that straight. I mean, yeah. We were friends. That's how you fucking met her. Yes. I, I- smell gangbang. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so... Obviously, I know that. But <laughs> she didn't know all the other people that are involved with that the show and stuff like that. That would be <laughs> Oh, you're one of those people, yeah. And, I mean, there. This is a revolving door. There's a lot of people. That's in and true. Out okay. Of you. Okay. Well, we. we I mean, she, I, I think she was always uncomfortable with me being friendly with you. 
to be honest with you. Well, well I, was, I was uncomfortable that she, that she went out with my, my ex-boyfriend. Well, that's another issue in itself. Okay. Maybe you should all go to therapy. <laughs> You can all go together and talk about hormones and And I'm your kid's godmother, ovaries. which you guys weird. were doomed from the beginning. The way you guys were acting from the get-go. She's crazy. And you were the last You're to see it. You're all crazy. No. no but I, I've you all it. meaning what? Women? I'm yes, sorry. Yes, what? Yes, get out. Yes. I'm yes. sorry. Get out. I, I, I am so <laughs> fuck. I think I am so sane in comparison. Yeah. Have you listened <laughs> Have you listened to any of these shows? Doesn't I don't need to listen to the shows. You know me. Oh, please. <laughs> you do not. I uh. uh, uh I am. Do you want to? Do you want to go? All right. We will do. We'll do a sane off. God, I am yes. so sane. Let's have a. Can sane we call nine one one right now? <laughs> really? I hate this music. I know. That's why he's doing it <laughs> to test your sanity. This, makes this me feel was like the I'm music that was my playing mind. when you saw the amputee, like Clockwork Orange. Yes. I want you to drive here. <laughs> so okay, all right. I so. am. Your ex was not. She was weird. Weird and crazy are two different She's things. Why do you think she was crazy? Really? No, you you, get upset? you you brought it up. It was just that literally, for me, first impressions mm-hmm. or second. No, first. <laughs> it was first. It was the first. When she told us or told me the story about her breasts and how about she wanted a reduction, oh. but her father said to her, and we're at the beach, and her father said to her, people pay a lot of money to have breasts like yours. I'm not going to pay for a reduction. And I was like... This should be like a, cre- a creepy meter. This should be like a creepy It kind of rubbed me the That's wrong creepy. way because she seemed to think that this was an okay statement. How's that? And it kind of like, I was like, ew. I was like, your dad said that to you? But I didn't say any of this. And I was like, oh. Ha, 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 ha. Yeah, and from then on, Callie was I just lost not it. into it. It was hard for me to regain it back. All right. And then all of a sudden, right off the bat, you two were like, she's already like annoying you. Like picking, like nudging, like doing this. Not literally. Like. Oh, you mean like before they got, before, before they were a married s- couple. Yeah, 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 yeah. Before they got married. But even, I, even. She'd be like, oh, yes, blah, was, blah, 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 John. Oh, my God, blah, 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 Well, that's one of the problems. I mean, she was always very uncomfortable around any of my friends. Yeah, but I don't think, like, I made, I think, I don't think was, anyone made her feel I uncomfortable. I think she was a different person when she was around Probably. You around, that would make sense because Stacey. none of us knew, like, what was going on. But, look, and, and like some behind of the things, closed doors, a couple's different. Some of the things different. she said and did around you guys was part of the whole thing. It was just she didn't know how to handle it or mm. process it or whatever. I don't know. All right. So let's move on. <laughs> yeah, it's a boring. I'm saying, by the <laughs> way. I thought maybe someone cheated on. I, you know, come on. You should at least come in and lie for the show. <laughs> well, I'm you saying. already seem to have had a story. So well, should have just ran with whatever. it. Whatever. So let's Can we play? still go back to and strippers? It always, it always somehow makes me the be the bad guy. Because you, you suck. Because you fucking suck. And I you cheated on me. Money. And that, like, oh, I'll, I'll all never right. forget. Do you really want to have that <laughs> I'll never forget again? It. I'll never forget it. A phone number is not cheating. Mm. Mm-hmm. A phone number that someone gives to you. You took is not it. Cheating. You took it. You put it in your pocket. I did take you, it. From- you know what? I'm going to stop talking because it's your show. You suck. <laughs> All right. Wait, so one let's more play- question about strippers. <laughs> I'm a- I'm obsessed. I think slightly. Have you ever dated a stripper? No. Would you date a stripper? No. I did. You did. Yeah. In real life. I did. In real life. <laughs> or enough, it was well, in his fantasy. Or in your head. No, I did. When, uh, <laughs> so explain it to me, like. What? Who, who is calling? I want to know who's Uh-oh. calling you. She hears. Is this a live Is it Claire? It's Claire. It's a live show. No, it's not, guys. I'm no, she's out the window right now with her listening device. <laughs> she's here. She's got her boobies glued to the window. <laughs> no, I want to know I about... I the tracker. The tracker. I just took, didn't take it out Don't of my Don't joke. There, people can track your ass. No, I want to know about, I want to know about dating a stripper because this is my thing. It takes a very strong man or woman to... Have your girlfriend or boyfriend be an object, be an of, object someone of someone else's desire? Else's desire. Yes. Like you're, al- you're not, not allowing. That's a bad choice of words. You're letting, uh, you know. I don't Basically, know. you're saying that your Go significant ahead. other is just an object. Yeah, but how do you feel about? Okay, so your girlfriend comes home and you know she well, throws about. I didn't 700. date her very long. We hung out a couple of times. Were you jealous when she went to work? No, I didn't have a problem with that. I had a problem with her drug problem. Oh, oh. Which was, <laughs> which, which usually goes hand in hand which, with the stripping thing. Oh. Yes, I mean she was a cokehead, and oh yeah, that's bad. I wasn't quite into that. Even even when I was in college, that was one thing, right? 
You gonna yeah. back me on mm-hmm. that? Thank That's you. one thing you didn't do. Okay, so yeah, because I don't know if I could do it. <laughs> could you do it? I don't. I can't do it. I couldn't have no, my I, girlfriend I, crawl, no. crawl into bed and you know be like, yeah, so. If I made I, like a thousand dollars tonight, it's weird because the ch- a male stripper, Ugh. I wouldn't care. If she if she's coming back to you, then that that should show you something. Well, like if she's coming back to you with like a lot of dick in her pussy smell. You know what I mean? Like I don't know. She could still see you. You just as got stability. done having a conversation saying no that country. that doesn't happen in the strip clubs. Um, it does happen, but I'm saying Not that in the strip clubs. In the, but we just yes. had a guy on last week who, with his uncle, banged a stripper in a hotel room. And yes. Lot, yeah. Call girls. But how do, you, how do you know your girlfriend wouldn't do I mean, that? When or? I was in high school, my boss used to do that all the time. He what? Would go to, he would come back to work and tell us all about it. Oh. $300 for two girls at a time. Oh, the good old days. Uh. Those were cheap. <laughs> <laughs> the recession, you like, know. Like, you know, even if you were dating a stripper, how do you not wonder... Was there penis inside her tonight? Like or that has to be in the back. Like, I don't know if I would, I would want. Any girl. I don't know if I'd want men touching my girlfriend. Well, with any girl, yeah, fine, okay. But with a stripper, she's literally she's got hundreds of men with hard dick around her. That's it's a different. It's different. Uh-huh. A regular girl, she might just be going out to Target to go pick up some, you know, paper towels and underwear, but. Listen, stripper, you know she's out there with hard dick around her. I'm playing devil's advocate, but you know what? If you trust the person, then it shouldn't make a difference. No, you're right. You're absolutely right. Okay, but just... here's another thing. So now if I were, not that I am, but if I went and got a job as a waitress at a strip joint, like I'm totally going to have to flirt. You got to flirt. Yeah, that's you gotta part work of the job. Room. Now is that a problem? Like do you think that your spouse, girlfriend, boyfriend, whichever, has a right to be jealous? No. No. No, that's mm. your, you know, flirting. Like everyone flirts at their job. What? Are you flirting with me right now? <laughs> I'm like, I definitely don't flirt. There's no one to flirt with at my job. I do. <clears throat> I, I'm sure you do. I can't help it. I can't turn it off. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just saying. Okay, I'm just curious. I'm just asking. Uh, Jinachi. Ever- mm-hmm. Kiki Kanye. Yeah. yeah. All right. No, I don't know. I I don't know if I could do it. And I'm not a that's jealous a person. Pickle. It's a pickle. It's a pickle. So let's play some Angry Bird clips just for John, because uh, I know how much he loves to hear Angry Bird. And and TP has done a real good... He's done like what the kids uh, call a smash up. Mash. Oh, a mash up. <laughs> <laughs> wow, you just aged yourself there. A mash up. Go. <laughs> is it a remix? Are you listening? I'm sorry that you're stuck listening to these two. <laughs> Intercourse is about penetration. So if you wear a thong... Or someone's licked your ass, you probably haven't had anal sex, okay? So, I, I don't even comes. remember your name. Guess number two. But that you're was okay. Me. <laughs> if you've had a thumb up there, though, yeah, you, you've had some anal sex. Penetration, people. It's about penetration. I wish you guys would be more well-versed. Don't, isn't this show supposed to be about sex? Does a lesbian have to come on and tell you everything? You're assuming that gay men must have anal sex and that is not true porn all right i i'm sorry i have to take it back why would a man liking anal sex why would a man who likes anal sex why does that make him gay when a woman who likes anal sex that doesn't make her gay i mean like that just makes no sense (laughs) that doesn't make her a lesbian although i wish it did I think guest number two was being a little anti-gay with his comments, and I didn't appreciate it. I'm about- wait, wait a minute, time out. I, I, because I clearly always forget the shows. So, what she's saying? <laughs> that was a so, mi- that was a mix of like two, else, two else, or three shows. Right. It's a mashup. I'm just curious. Sure, it's a mashup. Sure <laughs> how is it it's that a mashup. if two guys, if two guys like to have sex and they like to insert the penis inside the asshole? It doesn't make them gay. How else would two men have sex if you didn't stick it in the asshole? No, a lot of gay men don't have anal. Really? A lot of gay men suck. Right. That was the argument, I think. I, I know. Really? I yeah. think you were a part of that show, if I recall. I tune her she out She doesn't remember she anything. Stop touching the jacket. <laughs> so wait, it's more I want to know how many gay... the two of you can afford. <gasps> Play that again. Oh, I... <laughs> <laughs> well, that, that is angry. Stop <laughs> touching the jacket. It's more expensive than anything the two of you can afford. She's such a fucking cunt when she says that. <laughs> lesbian she's bed such death. A lesbian bed death. Lesbian, lesbian bed death. death. And now she's lesbian dating like death. a lesbian bed death. Lesbian bed death. death. Lesbian, lesbian bed death. death. I love lesbian that. bed death. I'm lesbian put a bed beat death. Lesbian this, by bed the way. death. She blows. You should. Let's do. Let. Can we do a um Angry, Angry Bird, Bird mashup yes. like with music? Yes. Yeah. Wait, right. It has to be like rave music. 
You know, I find it, I, you know, she's very hypocritical and judgmental because her girlfriend drinks and she has no qualms about that. After you've had sex, the whole world changes. <laughs> she doesn't see things the way she used to anymore. Right. Same thing with heavy petting. <laughs> Speaking oh, of that. which, you know, and we're on to you, and buddy. QTP, why don't you tell us about your evening? So he had a gig last night, and he yeah. showed up to the studio on time, actually early today. Yeah, <clears throat> and I was two minutes completely late. Completely exhausted. And so I said, "Hey, TP, how was your show last night?" And he said, "It was all right, but after the show was better." You do a great impression of me, by the way. And I said, <laughs> "Where was your show?" Somewhere in Jersey. What's with you in Jersey? They like us. They pay us good out there. And this the girl well, that you met you is, well. is from Jersey or from I'm India? I'm speaking like I'm from Jersey, eh? Hey. Yeah. Okay. She she lives there. So wait, where did you meet her? I met her at one of our other shows in New York City. And she followed months, you to Jersey? Months, and months ago. Yeah, she's been following us around for months. Oh, and you just... Okay, so go on. I'm sorry. No, we've been talking through emails for months. Oh, for months. Yeah. Sexting? No. Oh. How do you take the leap from regular texting into sexting? I don't know. We haven't done it. Why? Because she's don't you a have very a set of balls? nice, sweet, traditional Indian girl. Wait, wait. Listen. You she don't, doesn't want you. Listen. Mm, Callie, nice. shut it. <laughs> Callie, shut it. I'm just, I mean, I know. I know. You know her? No. I know the story. So let him tell it. Okay. And I'll ask questions yes. after. Yes. Don't jump the gun. She, he, you already got him blowing his load. <laughs> Let him tell the story. I'm not good at waiting. <laughs> no shit. Ugh. Not everybody fucks the first time they're you know together, mm. as I, they do I in wish, your world. I didn't fuck the first. I wish people could have saw the face Jeff made when he said <laughs> "fuck." I know, very angrily. Yes. Fuck. I just, not all I, I just like to get in there. And I'm come. glad, and I'm glad that she's not. A I whore. get the first come out of the way, and then we go slow the second mm. and third time. Well, like I said, there she's you a very, go. That's very a high sweet. Thank you. Thank right you. There. Very I sweet, like traditional Indian girl. Okay. She's from India. Okay. As you incorrectly said last time, you thought Gina was black. They're all. Mm. <laughs> I love when you say Gina. Gina was from West. Is West Indian <laughs> from Trinidad? Okay. This girl. She's is they're darker than East me. East Indian. Anything darker than me, they're black. Wow. <laughs> just, you just lost a lot of viewers. I'm just kidding. I swear. I a lot of listeners. I'm gone. just kidding, guys. Totally kidding. I fucked a black go, man. Why don't you go home and put on your hood? <laughs> it's at the dry Burn cleaners. the cross. <laughs> I got ketchup on it last weekend at a show. <laughs> <laughs> wow. I, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I like black hawk and pussy. <laughs> I know. Soundbite. <laughs> go, it's go on with being your, marked right now. <laughs> Go on with your Indian girl. Yeah, so yeah, we we. I like Indians. I want to go to India. You like Indian food. You don't know any Indians. <laughs> I know. I don't. They're, they're too dark for you. You can't see them. Just because you watch Dances with Wolves and Slumdog Dog mean... Millionaire. Dance. Ah, oh, I like those Indians too. <laughs> <laughs> yes, those Indians as well. I've always wanted to go to India. I'm just afraid of the smell. <laughs> she smelled really good. I'm sure she. No, I'm not saying. In, but in India, it is known yeah. that they don't have. They burn it their shit on the side of the over. roads. Didn't you go to India? I thought you. That's why I, you gave your panties away. No, I went to Indonesia. <laughs> oh, same difference. Bali, somewhere over there. <laughs> so go. Same area. To DP. DP. <laughs> Hey, yes. DP. No, we did not DP. No, no. I wasn't there. there was go, no on. So go ahead. I'm sorry. Okay, so what's her na- what's her name? Uh, I'm not giving it out. Okay, so we're gonna call her the nice brown girl. <laughs> <laughs> what are we calling her? The Indian girl? The Is Indian that rude? Girl. No, you, no, the Indian girl. Okay, not. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. No, no. Okay, no red dot. Red <gasps> dot. There you go. I was gonna say something worse. I gotta stop. I'm gonna offend everyone. The Hindu. You want to say that? Mm-mm. She's gonna make a curry joke. Yeah. Or a 7-Eleven joke. <laughs> Those are Pakistanis. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Go on. And we're we're down, down to what? We're Just down the white to, folk? <laughs> we're down to one KKK viewer and listener. Forget Playboy. We're going to be picked up by KKK. <laughs> I know. <laughs> by skin. By that Christian. We'll be picked up by that Christian. Channel 130. Yeah, here we now go. Now you're offending Christians. Well, come on. Let's. Where do I begin? <laughs> Don't begin. Don't stop. stop. What? Don't I'm, begin. I'm going to call up the angry bird. You start call, talking Christian. Well, her and I so. should talk about that because Christians are evil. Oh, and boy. <laughs> we're gone. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Shall, shall we take a break? <laughs> I can't. <Wait. laughs> I can't stop. <laughs> Once you guys get me started. 
Why did I can't stop? <laughs> Take a little intermission. Skylar is judging you. <laughs> okay. So, Jeff, tell us more about... Three hours of heavy petting in my car. That's it. Goodbye. In your car? No, 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 Whoa, no, no. is this Time straddling out. going on? No, you need yes. to... What the fuck is heavy petting? I pet my dogs. Does that make me a heavy petter? Yeah. Oh, that makes a me a bestiality. Yeah. Here we go. Bring it full circle. Come on, people. Yep. Slather the of, peanut butter. Get it out of your system. Okay. April 6th. Mm-hmm. No bestiality what, talk allowed. What is heavy petting? <laughs> is that a rule? <laughs> yes. Is there kissing involved in heavy petting? Yes. Nope. How was the kiss? How was the first kiss? Explain to me. Give me step-by-step play when your lips touched her lips. Do you see the blood? <laughs> you, what? What? Yeah? She bites a lot. I was bleeding. No, you weren't, were you? Yeah. That's hot. Did you like that? Fuck yeah. Do you wait, like wait, a little, No, wait. Like, stop it. Put on the Stacey shit music right now. Why? And yes, ma'am. He's going to narrate what happened. And yeah. we're going to get wet. No, I'm not. <laughs> oh, yeah. Here we go. So you're sitting in the car. Yeah. What's what's the music? What, about, what, what brought on the first kiss? Tell me the music. How'd you get her in the car? I bet you Metallica's She playing. had previously asked me if she came to the show, would I take her home? Mm. Did she text this to you? Yes. And when you texted her back, wouldn't you consider that sexting? What did you say? Maybe in your mind, but <laughs> not mine. Did you say, yeah, I'm going to get you in the front of my car and I'm going to heavy pet you? <laughs> no, I said, I'm going to lick your curry. Oh, your chicken tikka masala. Yeah. All right, mm. just shut the fuck up. I'm trying to get to eat. Come on. So how did the first kiss happen? She was going to get out of the car, and so she leaned over and kissed me, and it just didn't stop. Did you pick her up and put you put her on your lap? It, it was very awkward, actually, and not sexy at all, because... <laughs> I have, like, the parking brake between us, and so I had to kind of, like, roll over it onto her side. And it wasn't very <laughs> graceful? graceful at all. But it was me. three hours? Yeah. Did you slip any... Was she wearing a dress? Skirt? No. Oh, be... Wait, did her... Were her... Was she wearing jeans? Yeah. Were they soaking wet? Not soaking. In no. the crotch? No. Oh, that's too bad. Not every girl is Kelly. Yeah. Or me, apparently. Yeah, so, yeah, and I guess I'm not that good. Yeah. So, tell were me, were you rubbing her vagina? On occasion, yeah. There was. We were going all over Did the place. Did you like that movement? Yeah. Did you get in the pants? <laughs> Receive, receiving communion at that point <laughs> <laughs> was a good move. Accepting change. Did you get in the pants? No. Okay, so you stayed on top. Did you feel her boobies? Did yeah. you play with her nipples? Did you roll them in between your two fingers? Over overclothing, yeah. Uh, oh, it was all overclothing. It was all so it was overclothing. like totally like high school. Yes. She stroked your cock overclothing. Yes. Mm. She didn't take it out and put it in her mouth. No. Okay. She is a nice, sweet, respectful Indian girl. There's a lot of nice, sweet, respect. Don't offend these women out there that go and fuck on the first date in the car in the front seat. That's mean. <laughs> <laughs> Did you just describe every one of your dates? The Absolutely. Best? <laughs> no, I go in the back seat. <laughs> no, you take it no, in the back seat. I do. Oh no, I don't. No, 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 no. All right. But so, the kicker of the story is that she's moving to Boston in a week. Of course, of course she is. Ooh. Thank you. She doesn't even exist. He probably's gonna have a girlfriend from Niagara Falls soon. Why is she? Moving? No, that was Chanel. Remember? <laughs> Why is she moving to Boston? She just got a job there. Oh. So why are you staying here? Why am I staying here? Uh huh. You two wonderful people. No. Uh, well, I'm going to leave you two alone. Leave uh, us your equipment. No, okay. Sure. <laughs> you yeah. two, run it without me. I'm so, going. Uh, do you I'm like leaving. Her? Goodbye, everybody. When are you going to see her I'm again? I'm quitting. When are you seeing her again? Friday night. Is it? You have a gig? No, actually, tomorrow I'm seeing her. Oh, wait. She's coming her? to my apartment. Holler. Oh. Here we go. record something. She can sing. Oh. Bullshit. She doesn't want to record dick. She no, wants she to didn't. ride the dick. Will you have sex with her tomorrow night if the if it presents itself? There'd yeah. be no respect going on. <clears throat> yeah. And then Friday she's coming to the show. And then afterwards you guys are hanging out? Yeah. Where does she live now? Jersey. Jersey City, yeah. Okay. Oh. Oh. All right. Well, at least she's getting out of so there. So you like her? Very much so. Oh, that's so sad. My life is sad. How do you know you like her very much so, though? I've known her for three, she three months. Because they were petting for three hours. Uh huh. Mm. Let's be careful, and don't be too. Let's nice. be careful. Not for nothing. Don't be that guy. We've all been down this road with you, T. Take 
her hair and fuck the shit out of her. Sometimes a woman just wants a guy to take control. Sometimes she wants you to be the dominator. Let her be the submissive. Yeah, don't, be nice. lose, don't be nice. She's leaving. Don't be so nice. She's leaving. Might as well. Nice guys don't finish last. No, nice guys do finish <laughs> last. <laughs> no, I feel like the nice guy always gets fucked in the end. Just to have fun. No, they don't. They, they don't, don't, don't get fucked no, in the end. No, I never do. That's what I'm saying. Fuck her. Literally. Shove your cock inside of her pussy. Get in there. Is that what life's all about? E- yes. Okay. Currently A good is. portion of it. Good portion of it. No, but I'm just saying, like, you're going to play all this, this nice stuff, and you're not going to do exactly what you want to do because she's like this nice, sweet Indian girl. But maybe the sweet, nice Indian girl wants to be a little naughty Indian girl. And if that girl. doesn't work, chloroform. <laughs> Oh, yeah. I had that in my pocket. That's a good one, too. That's the only way I'll have anal. <laughs> <laughs> Let's do emails, please. Yeah, note to self. Yes. Mm, bring the chloroform. Mm-hmm. It's time to answer your emails. It's time to answer your emails. Oh, everybody. And here we go. (laughs) (laughs) You sounded like a dude. (laughs) No, what that was. All right, ready? I'm going to do Barry Manilow. I have have one email before you start. Yes. It says, uh, somebody wanted me to wish her a happy birthday. Her name is Mandy. Happy birthday. There you go. Mandy? She wrote in. She's married, remember? Oh. One of your little sluts. Yeah, my biggest fan. Okay. Dear Stacy, someone drown that angry bird in cognac and Ooh. roast her like an Orland bunting. Do you think she has a good and nice smelling vagina? I oh. once heard a friend compare the sound of a college lecturer's voice to the sound of a guy scraping nails on a chalkboard while raping your grandmother. Holy shit. Angry bird isn't that bad. More like he's raping your cousin. Just as pain- painful, but not quite as existential. Oh. Can we not rape anyone? I had an interesting experience this weekend that I wanted to solicit the group's opinion on. Oh, boy. Mm. First, a little backstory. Last June, I started dating a woman I had known for about a year in a strictly professional context. She's pretty and blonde and eats like a beast, which I appreciate. <laughs> eats what, though? I spend a shameful amount of money on food and prefer a girl who, eat, who will eat her fair share of of phyllo wrapped bone marrow at two in the morning. Ew, what is that? She is that. She's also smart, professionally accomplished, and has a great relationship with her family. All very important to me. I knew these things about her already, but when she started, we started dating, I found out she was just as voracious an appetite for sex. Mm. The problem for her is that she has routinely dated men who either use, used her curiosity as a way to insult her in arguments... Or they were too conservative to encourage her interests. I have had a wonderful, absurd sex life that has included fisting a woman, sex clubs, extreme and public BDSM, etc. Wait, 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 wait. Go. Oh, never mind. Go ahead. As well as a couple of long term relationships with women who were relatively vanilla. I was willing to be an aggressive top for the submissive women I've dated. My big turn on is trampiness. I want to give a lady a good butt ruggering, road, ruggering at night and take her out for a civilized brunch in the morning. And I seem to have found that girl. Now that she has a man who won't judge her for wanting to lick some pussy, we have started attending sex parties thrown by a group in New York. They're great parties with wild people and cool, cool performances from around 10 to 1 which evolve into full-on loft orgies of about 50 people Sounds after like the mine. shows. Sounds like my past. Right. Nothing better than watching a burlesque performer on stage than seeing her with a hard cock in her throat an hour later. So my brilliant lady has had the opportunity to play at a number of fantasies at these parties, but that's a story for another letter. My question for you is, what do you do when a, you see someone from your regular life at a sex party? Oh, that happened to me. Of course it did. Not at a sex party, (laughs) but at a sex club. That's why you're here. (laughs) This happened not once, but three times at the last party, twice to me and once to my girlfriend. The two guys I saw are acquaintances of mine through two different close friends. She saw a girl she went to high school with. I asked because the two guys had very interesting and very different reactions. One of them threw his arms open and walked right up to us because he doesn't understand 
why everybody isn't going to orgies all the time. The other guy saw me put his head down and walked by to the bathroom as quickly as possible. I was clothed at that point, mind you, waiting for my girlfriend to come out of the bathroom so we could leave. The girl she saw was brushing her teeth. She actually lives in the place where the orgy was being held, but not participating. I haven't mentioned seeing them to the people we know in common and don't plan to, but what's the move in this situation? Do I engage or ignore? Also, what percentage of women do you think have fantasies that have remained unfulfilled because of the negative judgments of their partners? Thank you, Sal. P.S. I was listening to you in the subway when you answered my last letter's request of public masturbation stories. Standing on a packed train on the way to work in front of an older lady who was seated. Yeah, I masturbate to you. She noticed the growing bulge in my pants, not more than a foot from her face, and seemed a little annoyed. But with people to my left and right, I figured it was better to wave it at her than start whacking people on their side. (laughs) Oh, man. All right. So what do you do? Engage or ignore? What did you do? Well, what happened? sucked cock. I know. No, what originally happened for me was we were on a website, my ex and I, and another couple contacted us. Now, you didn't see our faces. You only saw our description and (laughs) our, not even my vagina. You saw our bodies. And um, we got an email from them. And I was like, oh, and they showed us their pictures. And I was like, holy shit, I know them. I know them very well. So anyway, long. so I ignored. Then they emailed again. I was like, fuck it. I emailed them back. I'm like, look, blah, blah, blah. And I told them who I was and da, 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 whatever. Didn't think about it for a while. All of a sudden we go to the sex, this um, swinger club. Walking around, going to use the restroom and there they are. I'm like, fuck. So what do you do? I went up to them and talked to them because I'm like, at this point, we both know that we're there. We both know that we're in this lifestyle. So why not? I mean, what are you ashamed of at this point? You may as well talk about it. Maybe you have somebody who could you ask questions to. Maybe they've been in the lifestyle longer than you have, and maybe they can guide you through it. I don't know. That's what I did. Okay. And then my ex tried to seduce the woman at my house one night. Of course he did. Um, so then what percentage of women do you think have fantasies that remained unfulfilled? Well, I don't know percentage, but I have to tell you, my ex-husband was extremely judgy and very um, repressed and would not engage in any, any kind of sexual anything. No, oh, he was the opposite of my ex. So if I married him, stayed married to him, I would probably be, pro- I would probably be at sex parties. Oh no, you, you probably or you would have cheated on him definitely. Totally. <laughs> and I want to clarify because I just recently was reading. Well, we'll get to that. But anyway, the term BDSM because not a lot of people know what it means because I didn't know what it meant. And what does it mean? Bondage, discipline, bondage, discipline, and then sadism. And masochism. But it can't be confused with dominant submission and then masochism. Mas- am I masochism. Saying that? Masochism. Whatever. It's and the eighth grade reading. <laughs> and sadism. It's, it's words that don't come up in my vocabulary. Thank you very much. But BDSM it's an ero- is an erotic preference in a form of personal relationship involving the consensual use of restraint. Intense sensory stimulation and fantasy power. Role I, th- play. I thought it was a bowel movement. <laughs> uh, so I do think that if you're with a partner that judges you in any way on a consistent basis, not just offers an opinion, but full on judges you for who you are and what your preferences are, you should get away from them. And I think my ex should have gotten away from me because I think I judged him a lot. Really? I think I did because I didn't want to be in the lifestyle anymore. Maybe I should apologize to him for judging him so much. I want to lick his ass on his vajava. <laughs> oh god the shit that comes out of my mouth <laughs> literally literally no i haven't looked an asshole in a while really uh-huh why you're uh-huh. repressed i know i don't know i've been coming a lot though i've been like the submissive one lately not the dominant one <laughs> not even listening <laughs> totally knows how to tune me out all right i got another email guys All right. Listening to your episodes always remind me of certain things about me, but the money shot pre-wedding jitters can't help but think you're all talking about me from the being scared to talk to people about it from the being 25 years old because the day after my 25th birthday, my boyfriend of four months asked me to marry him. I thought that's what I wanted, but the day after he asked, I freaked out. I started having second thoughts and I was only engaged for a month when I made the decision that it wasn't right. 
We were supposed to be happy and laughing, and all I could do was cry and wasn't happy. And when I told him, he started giving me the guilt trip. But I was in a previous relationship from 18 to 21 when I wasn't happy, and I wasn't about to do it again. Listening to the episode and Dr. Stacy telling her thoughts and feelings about her wedding reminds me of how I'm feeling, and I'm certain that I made the right decision on breaking it off. And I think I was more in love with the idea of love more than I was actually in love with him. But anyway, I love all three of you. I can't wait until I'm finally up to date with you guys since I'm eight months behind. Thank you, Alicia. P.S. I am one of those girls that don't like to give head, but only because when I had braces, they messed up my jaw and I have really bad TMJ and my mouth doesn't open very wide at all. Oh, no. Maybe an inch. Oh, oh you need a guy with a small penis. <laughs> oh, Alicia. So she has a legit reason. I know. What do you do? What do you tell a guy, though? Do you think guys always hear shit like that? Oh, I can't open my mouth. I get locked. I get this. I get well, that. Well, now I have a good so excuse. I don't, I don't need a blowjob as long as you, you don't? don't let me put it in there. Really? So you yeah. would prefer that? I'm not a. I said this last mm-hmm. time I was on. I'm not a big blowjob person. He's I've not. See, been. and I was with a guy. He's a big who only guy. wanted big me to suck <laughs> his dick. Put it right in the meat. Yeah, I'd rather a guy wanting to fuck me than me having to suck his dick all the time. It gets old and annoying. Right, and you're not getting anything myself. out of it. I mean, I got turned on by. I definitely got like supersonic wet. <laughs> <laughs> super, super, no. um, Trademarked. I know, but no, but I'd rather fuck than suck. Absolutely. Uh-huh. <laughs> Kick it, Kanye. <laughs> <laughs> but I Would feel, you? I feel, I'm glad for her though. She made a decision that was it's not an easy decision to make. No, it's not to call off a wedding. You've done it twice. Oh well, you didn't really call off a wedding. I guess you call off engagements, right? That so is good hard. for you, Alicia. I mean, you'll know when it's right, and you shouldn't force yourself to feel something because someone else feels it. And right. marriage isn't everything. There's always divorce. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. But no. Or I mean, separation. Exactly. You don't always have to get married. You could be domestic partners for the rest of your life. <laughs> it's not a bad thing. Marriage is hard. Marriage sucks, though. You have to really work at that. No shit. I don't know. Why don't you, we do you, some Stacy shit? Oh, wait. I have a little email. Oh, why don't we okay. wait till next show? Why? She because I read two emails. Okay, but it's a cute one. It's a really, really, really quick one. And she was sweet. I, I trust her. <laughs> <laughs> she can't even get it open. Oh, I'd like to see you opening a condom package at, the, at that moment when... The fucking it's condom. Like Who make- uses condoms anymore? Does anybody get abortions? <laughs> I don't who <laughs> I use a condom all the time. Go Trojan. Um just <laughs> this is from Nick Cole. Just a note to say that your show is hello. Wait, what? Why are you not listening Nick to me? Hole? No, Nicole. Oh. Cole. I thought you said Nick Hole. No, <laughs> Nick. My God. <laughs> Oh, well, that's funny, huh? I just got it. <laughs> no, I was going to just say Nick, but Nicole. Just a note to say that your show is hilarious, so funny. It's hands down my favorite podcast. I listened to a few old episodes today and definitely annoyed all my coworkers with my constant laughing. Looking forward to more episodes. Yours truly, Nikki. How sweet is that? Okay, let's go to um, Ta-da! Stacey shit. <laughs> Why are you so mean? And then some wait, wait, time out. Time out! No time out. Some guy said he was going to fuck the shit out okay, of me. Okay, it's nice. <laughs> if you use some cheesy music to announce this, then I'll totally fuck the shit out of you when I visit New York this summer. What's wrong with people? Really? <laughs> you want me to answer that? Have you listened to the show? It says, I would fill your cornhole and lick that twat good. Is that you? Oh, yeah. That's me. <laughs> I don't but want my cornhole You'll licks. take it in the cornhole. I'm not taking anything in the cornhole. I wonder if I eat enough corn, I could shit out a whole tub of corn. How much corn do you think I need to eat for it to fill up a toilet bowl with corn? Because it comes out whole. If I shit it out? No? Why don't we do this as an experiment? Can we? Yeah. I mean, you should do a bit where you just I'm have eat tons you just and have tons Callie sit here <laughs> and talk about something fucking completely random. Sorry, what? That's called our show. Okay, <laughs> but I'm just. Have you I ever just, been thought about this? This is like a bad dream, right? Fill now. up a toilet bowl of corn out of my ass. <laughs> can, can <laughs> Why I, are you looking at me like can that? Can I bathe in it? <laughs> Fascinating. I bet it would smell delicious. <laughs> I bet it smells like all shit you now, Stacy. Okay, thank God. <laughs> and then I want someone to eat my asshole when I'm done. And tell me if it tastes like corn. That's a Can lot. we pop it afterwards? 
<laughs> Add some oil. It's a lot of starch. Mm. It'll be hot and steamy. So what movie pop. will we watch afterwards? <laughs> oh, Weird Science. When the popcorn okay. with the popcorn out of the house. No, that's not Weird Science. Real uh, genius. Okay, I'm done. I was <laughs> I was gonna say the Human Centipede. Oh, oh, oh I, I want to see that. Ooh. Okay, so here, did you ever wonder if you're good in bed? No, because I know I oh, am. Because no, you want to wonder show about that shitting corn. You... <laughs> I'm sorry. How dare you ask such a question? Well, ladies, about sex, <laughs> and we have other things to worry about, like <laughs> shitting corn. Ah, oh, ladies, here are some signs that you're good in bed. Okay. Okay. Wait, there's only one lady sitting here. We have lady oh. listeners, you dick. It's a, you're such a narcissist. <laughs> I don't know if we do or not anymore. I think I kind of like got rid of a lot of them in this episode. The number white ones, yes. <laughs> number one. Who just snorted? <laughs> Kelly. <laughs> Sorry. He clenches his hands and feet. A physical sign that a guy is in complete ecstasy is if he's clenching his I hands and feet. I love that. When the guy's feet come together. Mm-hmm. When I'm like. Pigeon toed. Number no. Th- when I'm like in them, and then all of a sudden they they go like this, and then they wrap oh. around, and their toes are like this. Ah, oh, love that. No one can see what you're doing. It's I a know. radio show. <laughs> when you're in them, <laughs> my tongue is all up there, and their hand, legs are behind me. Oh, on the back door. <laughs> Number two, he wants to do it again right away. When you've really blown his mind, he won't be able to get enough. Obviously. Obviously. Or maybe it's just sucked the first time. He wants to see what you really can do the second time. Mm. Number three, he remains very flirty afterwards. If a guy can't stop thinking about the sex you've had, he'll stay heavily flirty afterwards. Many guys say that after an amazing time, they'll send multiple saucy texts to their girl to show how into into her they are. Or take a nap. He's very touchy-feely throughout the day. A guy who's into you will probably be touchy-feely. A sign you're having great sex is if he becomes even more touchy-feely. Quite literally, he's so aroused, he's having a hard time keeping his hands to himself. Number five, he tells you it was awesome. (laughs) That was awesome sex, babe. Yeah, this is pretty obvious, but if a guy tells you you were amazing, he thinks you were amazing. That's not true. A guy will tell you you're amazing just to get you the fuck out of the bed. Then, or during sex, they'll tell you, oh, you're so good. You're so amazing. You're beautiful. Sex, blah, 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 blah. They don't, they don't really mean it. I found that out recently from an ex of mine. Because they're imagining you're someone else. Yeah. Oh. And then slap your ass and tell you, make me a ham sandwich. Wait, have you ever done that sandwich. with your ex? What? Or with any of your exes? Like sat there and told them how beautiful and sexy they looked. Meanwhile, they really didn't. But you were doing it because you knew no, that. No, I if think you... I'm very blunt. Me too. Oh. John, John once told me in the middle, he was inside oh, of me. Here we go. And <laughs> in the middle of it, I was actually. I was blowing your mind. I was enjoying myself for once. And he for turned. For once. That, hit, it happened once. With his run, of, his run together. of the bell penis. That's, That's right. it. And he turns to me and he goes, babe, did you put on some weight? <laughs> um, I didn't say babe. I don't say babe. <laughs> All right, I didn't turn into someone from the Jersey Shore. Thank nice. you. Nice. And I start crying. And then I. Do you ever I, have? Do you ever have a man fucking then, you while you're crying and refuse to stop? But, He's like, oh, but no, I'm not uh, done. Yet. I'm not done yet. Listen, and I was fist pumping too and spraying. Whatever. Tanner you can on. you can live in your world, but this has never happened to me. Okay. I like she sucked her gimme balls. You were crying because it was so big. <laughs> okay. <laughs> number, I, uh, number six. The sex was great for you. If the sex felt awkward or uncomfortable, it probably felt that way for him, too. Mm. If you thought it was hot, then he probably did I as well. I could have wrote this list. This is all like no-brainers. I know. Next, he's trying new moves. Men, men, most men are pretty competitive. When the things you do are blowing him out of the water, he's going to feel the need to put up a more impressive showing. That's true. If he starts pulling out moves you haven't seen him do, do before, take it as a sign that he wants to please you as much as you're pleasing him. I have always, the people that I've ever been with always just want to please me. Do you feel that way? Like when you're with your ex, like they just want to, they want to hear me come. They want to, like, I just want like a cock in my mouth. I just want to suck your dick. I want it inside of me. I just want to touch you. And they're like, no, 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 no. I want to please you over and over and over again to the point where I wind up passing out and then I can't reciprocate. That's a big fucking horse cock. <laughs> no, no one's going to answer me on this one. Go on. I think we've explored this, but you blacked out so many <laughs> times that you don't know. Oh, that. Well, I was asking John. And actually, I think John was here when we talked I to think me. I was here as well. Because <laughs> okay. I remember that. I'm having deja vu oh. <laughs> of okay. this whole episode. Hmm. Hmm. All right. This, uh, my next article is for John. It's six tips. For me. Yeah. It's six tips for dealing with premature ejaculation. <laughs> <laughs> 
I've n- that oh, was a low shot. <laughs> Very. Okay, a sex surrogate wrote this article. It's run of the mill penis. <laughs> <laughs> So if you're dealing with a premature ejaculator, <laughs> number one, what you need to do, ladies. Was your ex that way because he was so young? Oh, God, no. No? Mm-mm. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. <clears throat> number one, you need to understand his anxiety. The first thing you should encourage your man to do is see a doctor to get his hormones checked. <laughs> <laughs> what? Do you remember I made you go to that specialist? No, no, no. All right. I'm not going to go along with that bullshit. (laughs) And or a therapist to treat a possible anxiety disorder. Mm -hmm. Premature ejaculation is often caused by anxiety. Understand he's stuck in his head. Some people are so removed from their physical presence that they need to learn how to be in their body. Oh, I thought I was doing something really, really, really good when he ejaculated so soon. No. Maybe he hasn't had sex in a while. So maybe I'm really not that good in bed. Maybe you suck in bed. So this, I do suck in bed. This woman, she's a sex Hi. surrogate. She said during a man's first appointment, she'll touch him. I want that job. Hold his hand. What does she look and like? have her have the man describe to her what holding her hand feels like for him. The open dialogue will help with fixing the problem. How? No, I don't know. Feel okay, I could do that Num- for anyone. Number two. I'll hold your cock in my hand. <laughs> I do anything for money. Number two, talk about, <laughs> talk about the differences between sexual and sensual. One of the main problems with a premature ejaculator is that he tends to sexualize sex too much. You should watch Coming to America with Eddie Murphy when he sings sexual chocolate. No. I Instead you were of en- make a joke about <laughs> coming to America. <laughs> premature coming oh, to America. Instead <laughs> of enjoying the build up leading to the big moment, chocolate. the guy gets ahead of himself. So, um, she basically takes his hand, guides it around her body, explains that this is sensual, not sexual. And she teaches him that touching a breast doesn't mean you have to immediately have a boner. It just means this is what a boob feels like. So she like slows down the process. Gotcha. What does she look like? I don't know. There are many surrogates. I don't know. So you're such a dude. What does she look like? Well, I'm not going to do that to like a fucking 80 year old floppy flapjack boobies. Maybe that would help you. Like maybe if you did that yeah, with her, would, you wouldn't come my so dick quickly. would turn inside out. Claire told me that this you haven't addressed this problem. So okay, my ass, <laughs> because she's very pleased with oh, what I'm doing. Okay, all she does is blow shit all over the place. Mm-hmm. <laughs> what does she blow all over the place? <laughs> blow eggs. <laughs> What is she blowing? Did you get oh, that? We went back to the eggs. I'm a little nervous. Blow, <laughs> blowing runny eggs all over the place. Uh, which, did she have a squirt? Uh, no, she wasn't a squirter. Uh-huh. Do you like squirters? Um, I don't know that I've ever been with a squirter. Oh, just curious. I, I don't squirt. Do you squirt? No, you pool. <laughs> <laughs> I believe I do, yeah. <laughs> All right. You, you pool. <laughs> I pool. Let's get back. It just hangs out there. You can come swimming it in dribbles. it. It dribbles. It dribbles out. I'm an internal. <laughs> She's a faucet. You can't tell them wet until you insert fingers inside vagina. And then it's like, whoa. It's like a dam breaking. Yep. And then all of a sudden, then it's all over your chin. It's lovely. I drip. I drip. <laughs> I'm like a coffee maker. I drip out. <laughs> no? Okay. Are you okay, Jeff? Heavy cream, please. <laughs> That's after when he comes. We mix it together. <laughs> and then I slurp it up. Let me just finish this. And one then, big cup. Can I just finish? Mm-hmm. Remember that premature ejaculation is normal. It's seen in all different guys. The penis is an anar- anarchist and it doesn't listen. Women are controlled by the moon. We have a time frame for when our fertility goes up and down. We know the moon is taking care of us. Men has, have no idea what's going on. Number five, don't be afraid to use the flesh. Moon? Yeah, that's our fertility cycles. You don't know that? Mm. <laughs> <laughs> I don't get my period anymore. <laughs> I'm not fertile. <laughs> okay, can I finish? Sorry. You gotta get pregnancy tests at the dollar store. I, I I don't even need to. I don't miss anything anymore. <laughs> don't be afraid to use flashlights. I gotta have sex first. As in With Mr. Pe- Mr. Peepee used a flashlight that time. Um, but they're great for helping premature ejaculators. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. This <clears throat> sexual surrogate it's has a- oh. men ah. use <laughs> 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 Uh, she's choking on dick right now. 
I, uh, I am I blushing? What I'm, the fuck? Am I blushing? Yes, you are. <laughs> mm, it's much better we when I have shoes on. Yeah, we were having a little thing over here. I'm going to drop this microphone on the floor and walk out. No, you won't. In a dramatic fashion. We tried that At least already. we get to see your ass, though. Mm. <laughs> Please don't go. Wait, but I like it when you walk away. How does that go? While you're in the kitchen, make me a ham sandwich. Okay, so the sexual <laughs> the sexual surrogate has the men she works with use flashlights to help tackle anxiety about getting it in. Um, so I guess like they stick their dick in the flashlight, and they don't come. They have to like keep it in there, and not come. And lastly, she says that you should stroke your man. This is the best way to tackle the problem. You need to make a long session of stroking his penis than stopping before he gets too excited. Yeah. Sounds like Jeff's sex life. Yeah. <laughs> that sounds you like gotta, torture. You got to kill all the nerves and yep. the penis. Why don't we just tie them up? Have him like basically constantly ask them where they are. And so they have like an orgasm scale from one to ten. So they get to a three, which is where it starts to feel a little heavy. Then stop. Then his, let his number come down. Then have him breathe into his belly. Blah, 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 blah. So it's like a whole fucking thing. See? That's if you had done this, maybe we would have stayed together. Oh, baloney. Uh. So there. How to deal with premature ejaculation. You guys don't even fucking care. No, because I've never May- been with maybe anyone. Maybe we helped one of our listeners. I maybe. Just, I just ejaculated you saying that. I mean, I feel like the first time <laughs> if you have premature, the second time they have sex, it's not going to be so premature. It's going to take a little longer, right? Thank you. Done. Yeah, but th- there are men. my brains out a lot. <laughs> there are men who really with can't porn. help it. They really can't have you been with anyone besides John. You got to empty the chamber. No, I've never been with premature. I heard that certain men. Oh, my. I met a guy. I went on a date with a guy who told me that he jerks off before he goes out on a date. I'm going to kick you right in the coots. Yeah, we had this conversation, too. Yeah, what the fuck? (laughs) Poor John. He needs something new. It wasn't somebody that I went on a date with. We've had this whole discussion where I said before dates, I rub a couple out so that you don't have one in the chamber. Right. I'm just saying about okay. I'm not saying we could have we could have huh. done this episode by just taking clips from <laughs> other episodes <laughs> and fucking putting them together. Okay. No, no, no. I never talked about shit and corn. That is true. That actually Thank was you. an original thought. That's Thank you. Original, <laughs> which I do give you credit. And I want to apologize for offending anybody tanner than me because I really didn't mean it in a racial way. You know? Do you remember that? Um, what about the Christians? Fuck them. Okay. Rob Sprantz called you out on going to tanning beds. Well, because he's Jewish. <laughs> no, I'm no, he's and I'm straight. Not, and I'm totally he's not. He's straight. I know he is straight. He's not a Jew. He's straight. He's not a Jew. I, <laughs> I, and I'm, I'm not. I don't, which is the funny part. You're the one that, see, this is how fucked up everyone is. I do not. I haven't gone tanning in a year. You went tanning that day. I never go tanning. You got sprayed. No. What? Now you're just lying to our listeners. Mm-mm. I think you're just starting shit. And I think I'm going to wrestle you naked now. In jello or pudding, when's that happening? We're doing it. Goodbye, guys. Yeah. I'm taking my clothes off. I'm going to fucking wrestle Wait, her. Wait, I'm going to take it. I'm going to take it. I'm going to her clothes off. <laughs> Goodbye. Take it, Kanye. She's trying to pull back some you're of the whistlers. Why you <laughs> Corn stock just went up. Right. <laughs> Riotcast.com. <laughs>